I was I was losing it. So now I gotta I gotta remember how to swim, breathe. I had zero idea. And I, I was definitely the, the, the weakest, the weakest link. What is up guys? I'm Miss Mercer with a dash and I'm back with another video. And I'm back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you, love you, appreciate you, can't do it without you. And if you're new to my channel, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Either way, how the thing go? So y'all, y'all already seen the title. Y'all been waiting on this, y'all been anticipating this. We got the 10K on episode one reaction. Now we need to get a 10K on episode two reaction, okay? So it's only up, and it's up, and it's what? Stuck it, stuck, stuck, stuck! It be that sick. I already know what y'all came here for, so I'm not even gonna waste no time. I'm just gonna give it to y'all. Y'all know how I get down. I got the journal. I wrote everything down so I could hit my key points, tell y'all woo 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 what I wanna tell y'all. So let's start off with, right? Episode two starts with we get in our rooms, right? So we get in our rooms. Um, when they were gonna give us our rooms, I was wondering how they was gonna assign it, how they was gonna break it down, right? And when they didn't end up assigning us our rooms, I was with Tardy. So I'm like, all right, cool. But I just was trying to understand I was just trying to understand, okay, why am I with Tardy and why is so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so -and, -so and, -so and so-and-so, right? Not to be on nothing like negative, but just, just wondering, well, how did they do the, the assignments? How did they, how did, how did they come up with who they was going to put with who type of thing? I will say at the same time, because I, I did say this, I was wondering, well, why, well, why am I with her? And I feel like we're kind of opposites. I was just trying to ask myself, what was their logic of how they set up? everybody with their roommates and stuff did they did they analyze something in me and tardy like hmm i think they should be to themselves and so and so could maybe be better with so and so or like i wonder you know how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop or a lollipop the world will never know right so what was the logic carmen the world will never know don't mind me y'all i'm just i just be stupid y'all see it was laid out there it was, it was pretty late when we got inside and we got our room assignments and all that and got ourselves together. Like, it was pretty late. I cannot remember for the life of me what time it was because, listen, the times turned into days and the hours and the nights and the, whoo, child. It was a long road. So I don't know what time it was, but I do know that it was late. And we was up since the beginning of that day to the very end late in the next day. But you might as well say the morning of the next day we didn't even get to shower until god knows what time right and then the the, the, the the crazy thing is it was only one shower y'all it's 14 of us and one you know what i'm lying it wasn't 14 it was it's 10 of us and it's one shower it's still absurd 14, 10, it's still one bathroom, y'all. One bathroom. One bathroom to pee in, one bathroom to brush your teeth in, one bathroom to take a in, and one bathroom to take a shower in. I was looking like, yo, we in boot camp for real. On God, we in boot camp for real. They did us like this. Who child. But thankfully, luckily, they um, I guess they opened up the second bathroom for us or told us like Hey, y'all can use the second bathroom too, so who child, we ended up having two bathrooms. So not too bad if you think about it, because 10, if you split that in half, five, five, you can make that work. You know, you can make that work. We didn't shower till super late, and y'all, I, I think that that was the best shower that I've ever had in life. In life, okay? Like, I've never wanted to just sit in the shower so bad. I'm talking about, like, I just wanted to stay there and just let the water hit me like I was in a music video type of, you know what I'm saying? But I knew other people had to go behind me, so I'm like, let me not play like that. Let me go ahead and, you feel me? Get in, get out. Hop in, hop out, okay? So that was that. So now, the next morning, you would think we gonna have it easy, right? You would think like, okay, they had a rough night, they did a lot, and y'all gonna give them a little break. A break where the word break does not exist in Carmen's boot camp, but the word plot twist definitely does. 
okay? It's written all over everything. Plot twist, plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. Listen, I'm tired of the word plot twist. Every time I hear it, I instantly have a panic attack and I just, I, I'm not here on earth. So the next morning, right? Or should I say the morning? Cause it was still morning when we took a shower. We end up um, eating our breakfast, stuff like that. And we go back to sleep. And now when we go back to sleep, I'm the type of person, whenever I wake up, I'm up. You know, like it's hard for me to just go back to sleep. Like I'm, I'm pretty much up. Once I see light, they light the sun, I'm like, eh, I'm just up. So now after we eat and we go back to sleep, I'm really trying my hardest to go back to sleep because like my body is tired. You know, my body is tired, but my eyes and my, my brain is like, man, we up, you know, we up. So I'm sitting there and I'm trying to go to sleep, trying to go to sleep. And then all I hear is, wake up! Nah, bruh. But at the same time, like I'm glad I wasn't like in a deep sleep because they would have, they would have a heart attack. I would have caught a whole heart attack up out my sleep. Like for I wouldn't even be here in front of y'all to be able to give y'all this reaction right now, this recap, because I would have been dead. I would have been six feet in the ground. Oh God! They wake us up with the pots and pans. We go outside. So now I'm like, all right, cool. The day is starting, it's beginning. What we about to get into, I'm ready. I'm ready, let's go. I'm ready. I'm at Karma's boot camp. I'm ready. They say, shorty, hit some, um, shorty, hit some push-ups. All right, cool, shorty, kill, kill the push-ups, you feel me? They say, hey, JJ, hit some squats. All right, cool, JJ, do the squats, she kill squats. They say, hey, 305, give me squats and push-ups. Now listen, now listen. I'm feeling like, wait, wait, wait. You want me to do both? You want me to do both? Hold on now. I don't got no upper body strength. For real, for real. You want me to do push-ups? I'm looking like the only thing that's going to be going up is not me. I'm going to be going down. Okay? So I'm like, but I can't, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I can't just, I can't just not do it. I got I to gotta show them a little something, something. I don't got this muscle for nothing, even though it ain't. You know, usable muscle, but I gotta, <laughs> I gotta make it do what it do. So I get, I get over there and I hit the push-ups first, cause I'm like, bruh, the push-ups gonna take me out a little bit, but the squats, I'm gonna get a little bit more energy back from the squats, right? So boom, I hit them push-ups. I start getting weak, and I said, nah, we gonna thug it through. We gonna thug it through. So I just keep going. Eh, eh, yes, I'm done. Cool. Let's hit the squats. Hit the squats. All right, cool. That ain't nothing. Light work. You know what I'm saying? I do squats all the time. Cause you gotta keep the booty right. You gotta keep the booty tight. You gotta keep the booty nice and round and firm. So ladies, hit y'all squats. If you're not hitting them squats, I'm telling you right now, you need to hit them squats. So boom, they let us do a little fitness in the morning thing, wake and workout type of thing, right? And now they, they, they really tell us what's going down. All right, we want y'all to go get them tents and go fix them up. I'm looking like, sis, I barely knew how to put it together. You want me to take it apart now? I don't even know if I remember how to take it apart. I'm tired. I don't, I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, I wish Genesis was here because Genesis is the one that really helped me put that tent up. Oh God. I'm like, now I gotta take it down. My like, eyes, right, sis, I hear you. We're at Carver's boot camp. We gotta make it do what it do. Let's go, let's go. You feel me? If y'all pay attention though, y'all gonna see when they told us we could go. Everybody ran to the right and I said now look I already told y'all in the first week I'm like I'm trying my best to not be like everybody so that I can have like a different a different game plan right so I go to the left because like everybody go to the right then that mean if you faster than somebody else they gonna be holding you up right or you don't want to be like slipping on top of people and stuff like that so I'm like I'm gonna go to the left because I don't think nobody else gonna go to the left so maybe I'm gonna get to my tent quicker this is what I was, this was my game plan that I was thinking in the moment. I don't know. To be honest, did it work? I don't know. Y'all tell me. All I know is I wasn't running into nobody. So I don't, I don't know. But I went, I undid that tent. I was trying. I was trying. Like I undid the tent. I got it done. But then I was like, how am I supposed to fold this so that it fit back in the damn thing that it came in? Because I'm like, it's not fitting for real, for real. And I'm like, 
I don't know if they want us to specifically fit it in there or if they just want us to take the stuff down and you know basically do our best and just show that we could take it down and put it away and I'm like dang this not fitting but to be honest with you I don't even remember if I if I folded it properly in the thing or not I think I did put it in there but it was pretty like lumpy and stuff and then they say listen I ain't about to play with these folks dog they're gonna come talk about some we going in the lake sis do I look like I want to go in the lake man I sighed I guess we're gonna go in this lake then we're gonna go in this lake but in the back of my head I'm thinking like this right okay Carmen major cat all the neb y'all not gonna let us get in this lake if y'all if y'all knew it wasn't gonna be safe or if y'all knew y'all didn't have no life jackets for us at least or something right so I'm like, all right, I'll get in the lake. I'll get in the lake on the strength of knowing that y'all not going to do us. Y'all not going to do us dirty like that. Y'all not going to put our life in danger like this. So you know what? I'm going to get in the lake. I'm not going to like it, but I'm going to get in the lake. Let's go to the lake. So we going over there to the lake. They say go change, right? Let me tell y'all something about this go change situation, right? They told us go change. And our damn packing list, it has so much black, 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 black shirt, black pants, black this, black that, black woo. My whole suitcase was filled with so much black stuff that I couldn't find what I was actually looking for. So I think the pants that I ended up wearing, it wasn't the pants I was, like that outfit, I don't think was the outfit I was supposed to wear for the lake. I think I had something else, but I couldn't find it through all the black clothes that I had. So if y'all see, I was like one of the last people. I think um it was me. It was me, and I know Hannah was probably like last, last. Um, I think Shorty was last. Um, I forgot who else was last, but like a couple of uh, it was probably like five of us that was coming in at the end, right? And I was like, dang, dog, I wish I could have found the bait. Like that's what held me up. I couldn't I couldn't find what I was looking for through all this black clothes everywhere. I'm like, oh my god, at this point, I'ma just lay the black clothes somewhere because it's too much black clothes to keep going through and everything look alike. It looked the same, right? I put on my little swim gear. Um, I'm ready to conquer this lake that they say they they about to make us go swimming, right? So we approach the lake and they say, Huh, are you got you guys trust us, you trust Carmen and you trust she gonna put you in a good position and stuff like that? I'm like, yeah, yeah, and in the back of my head, I'm like, this is exactly what I was thinking about. Like, you're not gonna let us get in this lake if you don't think it's safe, right? And then they say, we're not going in the lake. We're going to the pool. I said, oh, man, we going to the pool. But I'm still looking like, oh, God, I can't swim for real, for real. So whatever they gonna have us do, I hope it don't really mess me up too much. Like, I hope I, hope I don't have a big disadvantage in the challenge because... I already see the potential problems that I could have. So I'm like, all right, let's see how this is when we get there, right? Now we go to the pool, they line us up in teams, woo 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 woo. Well, no, actually, before they lined us up, they said, if anybody don't know how to swim or you feel like you can't do this challenge, let us know and you can um you don't have to participate, right? I ain't gonna lie. I was listening to those words and my heart was singing. My heart was like, yes, we don't gotta do this challenge. Yes. And then my brain was like, oh, you going to do this challenge. You not fin to die. You better not die, but you going to do this challenge. It's like, it's like my good side and my bad side was having a conversation. My good side was like, just let her know you can't do it. And then my bad side was like, oh, nah, we're going to keep it G. We're going to do this challenge. We're going to do this challenge. If anything, somebody going to get you about this pool or something. Something got to get because at least I could swim underwater. So I'm like, I guess if anything, I could just... Hit my little mermaid dive one time and I'll be I'll be good. But I'm like, man, I guess I'm I'm in. I'm all in. I can't go back now. I already done said yes. I can't go back now. I'm not about to I'm not about to back out now. So now they put us in teams. They split us up in teams on both ends of the pool. They told us the instructions. Basically, there's gonna be a cage, and the cage is gonna be submerged underwater. It's gonna have two locks on each end. And those two locks, we gotta figure out the code to unlock it because what's on the inside? The inside got 5K. 5K is on the inside. I said, oh boy. 
I gotta get that 5K. 5K, so that mean a thousand each per. I'm looking like, okay, a thousand each person. I'm like, I don't wanna share, but I mean, you feel me? That's how the challenge is gonna go. That's how the challenge is gonna go. So we have 5K enough. And so originally, the cage was under the water. So the first person jumped in, cool, they couldn't figure it out. They hopped out. Second person jumped in, they couldn't figure it out. But then somebody, I think it was like on the second and third goal, this is this is a, a scene that y'all didn't see. They was like, nah, we can't do it because we can't see and it's like too deep basically. So I guess from the time you jump in and finally get there to try to figure out the code, not only can you not see the numbers underwater, but it's like I don't waste all the breath that I kept inside of me trying to even get to the box. So I don't have breath to stay at the box to unlock it according to what, what the girls that already went in the pool was saying. So I'm like, ooh, Jesus, I'm glad I wasn't one of those people that went in first because I probably would have had a heart attack. You feel me? So they said, all right, let's 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 make it a little, you feel me? Since, since right now it's at like a very difficult level, let's make it like a little intermediate, medium, whichever one is less than super difficult. They said, all right, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, the cage right here instead. So instead of having to submerge into the water, y'all gonna swim to the cage to then you know figure out the code and at first we didn't have no numbers and they decided all right we're gonna give y'all some numbers i believe the lock had three digits and they gave us four digits so each person's lock was different set of numbers for example right let's say let's say let's say our code was 913 right they would give us numbers three six one and nine and from those four numbers you got to figure out which three goes with it and matches the code to unlock it so that's that's how that went my team we came up with the strategy i believe we had two or three different strategies but the one that i can remember off rip was we said all right there's four numbers right there's four numbers so everybody take take a number so basically to explain it again to y'all with the 9136 right let's say um so my team my team was tardy honey shorty braids and me right so let's say shorty had the number nine tardy had the number one um blonde blondie had the number three braids had the number six i had the number nine as well right so basically we would start off with that number and continue so that not everybody is trying the same number if that makes sense you know everybody's trying a different number to maximize our odds of unlocking that bit um, but I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it was so hard because I couldn't remember the numbers I was putting in. Like, I felt like I kept putting in the same numbers and it just, whoo child, I was, I was so nervous. And don't get me started about how I can't even swim a sea for real. What? I was, I was losing it. So now I gotta, I gotta remember how to swim, breathe. Um, see, I'm straining my eyes under the water. Actually, I lied. I was opening my eyes at first, and then I started to just close my eyes and wait till I got close enough to where my feet could touch the floor so that I could walk and open my eyes. Because I'm like, yo, I'm straining my eyes too much, and it hurt at this point, and I still got to see these little numbers and put the numbers in, right? And y'all already seen, um, Hannah's team had won. Our team lost, but we still did our thing, you feel me? We still was going in there strong, because let me tell you, like, I feel like er everybody on my team was popping in that thing. They was, look, they was going in. They wasn't scared. I think I was the only person that every time I went in, I was scared. Like, I was talking to myself like, Jesus. Like, even before the person would come out, I would mentally try to prepare myself. I'm like, yo, you got to do this. You can't be scared. This, this is not, you can't take your time with this. Like, once this person leaves, you just got to jump in. Like, come on. Just get, get in that mode. If you're going to die, you're going to die. If not, then you're not. Just keep on going through this thing. Don't mind me. I forgot to say this. I think they did not put me swimming, like a scene of me, a clip of me swimming to the cage and trying to unlock it because I looked like a fish out of water. Like, I can't make this up. Like, it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but when I tell y'all, every time I dove in the water, I just flopped. Like, I just looked like... I was dead, I thought I was, and then I realized I'm not, and I said, get up, let's go. So I probably on camera looked crazy. 
And I'm so glad, I'm so thankful that they didn't put me in there because I know I probably look like a fish out of, you ever seen a fish out of water? Look it up. Like I said, my team lost, Hannah's team, um, Hannah's team won. And um, when it came down to it, they said, Karma said, um, so who do you think was the weakest link on y'all team, right? I don't remember who she asked first on my side. I want to say she asked me first, but I, I, I could be wrong. I feel like she did, but long story short, when she asked me, I, I didn't want to say myself because I felt like, dang, I'm going to say myself, I'm going to put myself out there, and I'm going to go home. But I'm like, I can't, I can't lie about it. Like, I just, I can't do it. I can't lie about it. So I'm like, you know, I feel like it was me. And I think it was pretty obvious that it was me because everybody else can swim and I can't swim. Everybody else could see and I can't see. You feel me? And it's not even like I could have went in the water with my glasses to help me see. That's, that's messing up my eyes even more. Don't do that. That is not smart at all. And at the same time, it's damaging my glasses too if I was to do that. I say, yeah, me, you know what I'm saying? I, I was definitely the, the, the weakest, the weakest link. Um, and I told them, yeah, that's why I told my team, yo, put me last. Cause I remember telling my team in the beginning, I said, yo, I can't see, I can't swim, put me last. So y'all have a strong, you feel me, beginning or whatever, and I don't I don't hold y'all back too long. Let put put me as the last leg, you know what I'm saying? Cause this ain't this ain't it. I don't I don't wanna be the one to really hold us back. So y'all do y'all thing and put me last. And then um, Shorty was saying, Shorty was saying that it looked like I was doing my own thing, or I had my own ideas to myself. Like I was keeping my ideas to myself. To be honest and truthful with y'all, I had no ideas. Like when we first came together and we was trying to figure out how we was gonna um, unlock the lock, I had zero ideas because in my heart I was panicking. I was panicking for the simple fact that I knew I was going to have to jump in this pool and swim and not be able to swim for real and not be able to see. I'm going to continue saying it because that was my problem, y'all. That was my issue with this challenge. Like, if it wasn't for that, I would have been like, look, you know, if I had to take blame on something else, look, I messed up and I just messed up. But I, the only reason I messed up is because it's, it's something that I couldn't, I, there's nothing I could do about it. You know, there's nothing I can do about me not being able to swim or not see. I wish I could, but I, I couldn't, dog. I couldn't. When she said that, in my heart, I'm saying, damn, it's not that I was doing my own thing. It's not that I had my own idea or game plan and was staying to myself. It's that I was trying to remember my numbers that I did put. I was trying to remember the plan that we have and are trying to execute. I'm trying to remember how to swim or at least stay alive to get through the challenge and how to see. Like I'm straining my eyes and I'm, you know, it's I feel like I was multitasking on a lot of stuff versus um everybody else that just gotta worry about jumping in the pool. Um, and putting in the cold because like y'all could swim, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I had to concentrate more on how to swim and how to see. It's not that I had my own ideas and I was to myself on the side. I was just trying to talk to myself like, yo, we got to do this and how are we going to do this? You know, I, basically I was freaking out to the side. If we if we going to be blunt about it, I was freaking out to the side, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, damn, I got to jump back in this pool. I got this, 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 you know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, like, so I couldn't, I couldn't come up with no ideas because my mind was, was trying to focus on how to basically survive through the challenge. And, um, I think we had, I think my team came up with some good ideas though. So you feel me for, for how we was going to unlock the thing anyway. So I'm like, look, man, we got some good ideas. Let's, let's go with it, you feel me? If I think about something, I'm, I'm definitely gonna tell the team what's on my mind for us to, to try next or to do, you know? So the crazy thing too about this episode is there was a whole situation that happened that y'all ain't get to see. They, they left that out. It was a lot hot. For as cold as I was when I hopped out the pool with my anemic self, it was, it was hot. It was hot. At the end of the day, I said it in the first episode, and it was it was more so relating to this episode. I said that the person I felt like should have left 
was tardy because of the the videos it wasn't about the challenge um honestly if we was basing it on the chat see i don't even know see i don't even know i don't even know I don't even know because I, I don't want to say I should have left because I feel like you can't fault me if I can't swim a sea and I mean I, I try I, I could have said keep me out the challenge but I I, I put myself out, out on the limb and I just I did it so I don't know I don't I don't know who I could have said should have um should have went but I can say for sure I can say though I don't think ZZ should have left right because I feel like if they won then why are they in eliminations but that that might be me looking at looking at it as a group challenge. But I think Carmen and Major Cat was looking at it as it's not just a group; it's individual also. And I think that's why they made a decision like that. So I I don't know. I'm from me thinking of a group standpoint. I feel like the winning group shouldn't have had nothing to do with eliminations. It happened. It happened. You know. Um, it happened. With that being said, y'all, this is the end of the video. I hope y'all like the recap. I hope y'all like um, that I'm really, you know, breaking everything down and telling y'all what it is and telling y'all how I felt and um, what we was going through, the moments and stuff like that. So thank y'all for watching this video. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Love. I'm a killer, a born sinner I know gorillas, they squeeze bananas But he beats for dinner, that's an oxymoron I stop messing with some niggas, niggas morons